No mind then is silent. No mind is really nothing but the realization of the ultimate context of one's own existence. So the content, the content then is your existence. We said that there's content. Meaning comes out of content, but only only within a context. So then let's take as a proposition for the content your own existence. And what is the ultimate context of your own existence? Huh? I, I don't agree with uh, Ramana Maharshi came up in his questions in the office. I saw some visitors this week. Uh, because of his uh, uh, instruction to ask um, always continuously as a continuous contemplation, uh, who am I? And I don't agree with who am I. Because who makes you look for a pronoun, looks for, uh, you see, it's already a limitation. A who is a limitation. So you're looking for a who, you know. And there isn't any who. <laughs> There ain't no who there. And uh, you're looking for a not who. You're looking for a not who. If you find a who, that ain't it. Oh. <laughs> you're looking for a condition of what? The sense of self within one, within, is a whatness, it's an isness, it's a conditionness, and it's also the most powerful sense of I that can exist. It is I, but beyond the pronoun I. So I'm always afraid of people who say, who am I? They're looking for a pronoun. A pronoun is self-definition of I, and it's going to take them right back into the ego's definition of who you think you are. The infinite stillness behind whatever sounds we hear in the room is yourself. Without the infinite stillness of yourself, you wouldn't be able to hear anything. Without the infinite context of non-form, you would not be able to experience form because of the voidness of the presence one experiences form, experiences existence, is aware of what the mind is up to. So we don't want to be scared of mind. We'll handle mind the same we did the animal. We love mind. Not our enemy. Took evolution billions of years to develop this incredible uh, thing here, which I now, because I want to realize the presence of God, now becomes an obstacle. Got all the way to Mars, and now how do you get off the place? <laughs> here we are, folks. <laughs> Without this, you never get to Mars. Uh, what do you do once you get to Mars? And you try to figure out how to get, get off Mars. That's what you do. We got enough gas left, Susie. I don't think we can get off this place. <laughs> All right. So, whether a thing is a deterrent or a tool, whether it's an asset or a curse, is deep, all dependent on how you look at it. If you love all this stuff here, you have a good time with it. I had a whale of a good time giving that lady the finger. I mean, it was wonderful. I just found that beast in me, and he just, wow. I can be completely detached, you know, this morning. The cat's missing. Release on the cat. Lots of cats. Another one come along. <laughs> Orange cats are a dime a dozen. Well, one time we did that, I think, in front of the audience. We'll just do it again, kick her the kitty. Mm -hmm. We have permission to ask about the orange kitty. There's only one orange kitty in reality. There's only one orange kitty. And it's... The tractor field exists within the animal realm. 
and it manifests, man, you know, manifests serially as thousands, millions of orange kitties, but it's always the same orange kitty. <laughs> same orange kitty, just back in the same body. <laughs> same, you know, all, all orange kitties have the same nature. They're all the same. So anyway, I let go of orange kitty, and uh, so that was here, see? The willingness to do that, and accepting that maybe ki kitty is gone, and the reason tells me there's going to be a lot of kitties. And I love that kitty, and I love the next kitty. And the realization of all the truth of this brings me joyfulness and peace. And in that joyfulness and peace, I said, Holy Spirit, well, uh, we asked for a miracle. And Brock said, uh, your kitty's down here. So there you are. You see, you go through the hole, all the way down, you know, all the way through the whole thing. Um, so you transcend the limitation of content by energizing your awareness of context. Context. Out of the context, energizing the context, arises the miraculous. The kitty appears, and I walked up to the bathroom door, and she opened the door, and she said, there's the kitty. <laughs> so in the sequential world of perception, then, that was the moment of crying with happiness, right? Everyone's happy. 